Welcome back everyone for the next part of Tales of Asperia. Well, are you guys ready for my bad friend's accent? Ha ha ha, I can't even speak a single French word. A French word. Hey! Buono Giano! Buono Giano! Professor Silica! Buono, buono Giano! Junkie! Oh my! I miss you! Buono Giano! Hey, wait, Buon Giano? Buon, buon... Oh, never mind. You sure are shaming all of the sun. So, what's wrong with that? I'd say there's anything wrong with it at all, but uh, you're a little jealous, huh? Of course I'm not. Come to think of it, this is exactly the same place where we first met you. You're counting flower petals again or something? No, no, nothing like that. I just uh, recently I'm lacking for of moti motivation. Okay. A great genius like Professor Silica requires a lot of motivation. Thank you. Well then, how about uh, how about you make us some awesome weapons? See, well, I can't say I'm too interested in weapons right now, but well, you've been my amici for so long, so maybe you will do it. Hmm. If you'll do something to give me some motivation, I'll make you a nice weapon. Something to give you motivations, huh? Yeah, he goes again with the crazy talk. Every time you do one of these motivations things, I make you a weapon for you. Repeat an attack. Uh, wait, repeat an attack and motivation amount of time. Deal a motivation amount of damage to an enemy. Receive a motivation battle revelation. Fight in a motivation numbers of battle. Get a motivation amount of gold. Finish a battle in a motivation type of turn. Run away! Ah. Good luck, eh? What are we supposed to do? I guess we fight. I guess we're supposed to be motivational, like he said. Well, I guess there's nothing uh, Nothing makes us do all if we don't want to, right? Why not give it a try? It might be nice to spread a little motivation. Uh, okay. Oh, it looks like you dealt a motivation amount of damage to an enemy. Congratulations, I guess I already did something. Jeez, why do we have to do all this work? I will give you this for your efforts. What? A measuring tape! Thanks! <laughs> How long is this? How short is it? Lungo corto, this is the basic tool of data measurement. Okay, sure, but uh... Are you saying that I can actually use this to fight? A good scientist does not complain about her tools. I guess. These are the motivational things you have left to do. Yeah, 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 fine, blah, 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 blah. yeah. Do I get another one? Oh, it looks like you received a motivation in the battle evaluation. Congratulations! Yes, uh, good to know, I have no idea what I did. I will give you this for your efforts. A cat teaser. Huh. With this beauty, You'll be able to perform a charming meow meow attack. All the cats will be jealous. Uh, thank you very much. These are the, yeah. Repeat an attack, amount of time, fight, numbers of battle, uh, amount of guards, finish the battle, amount of time, run away. Huh. Oh, I still need to synthesize. Good to know. Uh, how many? How many can I actually get? I will give you this. Judy is going to get a deck brush. This legendary and mysterious tool is now yours. Use it wearing a maid outfit, and it worked twice as well. I see. Uh, 
I'll do my best to put it to good use. Huh. Well, you don't need to repeat all of that. I guess I can just talk to you again and get other items. Uh, amount of time. Yeah, well, it was all repeat, actually. I will give you this for your canning efforts. What? Oh, he got food! Here's your ya yakitori. Nice and hot, fresh so delicious. Oh, he's happy about it. Although I prefer to kiss her myself. Huh. Ah, yes, perhaps this will help you too. What? He got two weapons? Uh, things? Huh. Wait, 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 wait. You don't need to repeat yourself all the time. Give me just the next weapon. Oh, it looks like you synthesized the motivating numbers of items. Congratulations! So, what do we... A tried squid. That is food! You give me food! A squid! Perfect for emergency rations. Well, a tried squid is pretty tasty. Salt it and try it overnight. And it lasts forever. The king of seafood! What the hell? What the heck are you two talking about? I have no idea. But you don't need to repeat yourself all the time. Who's next? It seems you've done nothing very motivative, lady. Oh. Okay. Repeat an attack. A motivated amount of time. Good. Get a motivated amount of guard. Run away from motivated battle. Defeat 30 people in a motivated time. No idea. How am I supposed to defeat... Oh, maybe I need to fight all of them at the once. Anyways, first of all, let's run away! Let's run away a few times, shall we? Oh my god, I just checked. I need 50 escapes and I have 4. I'm gonna do that later, because it's going to take a while. But, but, I figured out what I actually can do right now. That isn't so far-fetched to do, actually. So... You know what? You know what? I, I changed my mind. I'm not going to do the quest with Silica right now. Because in order to get some weapons, like the one for escaping, I need to escape like 50 times. And it takes forever to do. It's annoying, because I never escaped in the whole game, I, except one time, so that means I only have one escape right now. I escaped three times, and it was already annoying. And now I need to do 47 more? Well, no thanks, I'm going to do that later off screen, and then I'm just going to grab it, once the time is right. So, uh, since we still have a lot of time at our hands, I think it's about time that we take care of the book quest since that is also still around. And i see you in a bit. Now, you guys probably wonder why Ray is back in Halur, even though she just said she wouldn't do the Syndica quest. Well, the first book we need to grab is actually here, in the mayor's mansion. Somewhere around here, at least. Uh, I just uh, I just need to find it. Or oh, maybe this is the wrong spot. It could also be the- Oh, no, no. No, I found it. Here it is. This is the village carpet with flowers. Perfect. Uh, such a tattler. Old book you have there. Um, would you mind if we borrowed it? Certainly. I don't mind. It's just an old technical book. It's all gibberish to me. Thanks a lot. No, think nothing of it. I can never thank you enough for what you've done for our town. Thank you very much. So that is the first book. See you in a bit. So the second book is at Fortune's Market HQ. Right here? Yeah. Is this the book you're looking for? Yes, there's no mistaking it. Reflection of the Scent of the Sea. Oh, so you're interested in my autobiography. Perhaps the allure of this high sea prophet has finally caught your eyes. You wrote this? 
What the? Uh, oops, I mean, could we have it? Straight into the point, as usual. He, I admit your cardon. You may have that book if you like. Study it well. You might actually learn something. Thank you, that helps a lot. Oh my, all this interest in my life story and not... And now words of thanks from you? I can feel the wind of change blowing across the sea. Oh my god. Well, thanks for the book. Time to get the third one. The third book is around here, the Sits of the Knights. Not quite sure where, but it's supposed to be inside of this house. Hopefully I get it first try. No, second try. Third try. Is it even here? It's so full of stuff, it has to be some... Maybe it's not here. Maybe it's inside of that room. Uh, ah, okay, right over there. Right here. In the back of this box. Urban planning for bustling cities. We found that we are looking for, but there's nobody around at all. What should we do? Take it. Excuse me, we'd like to borrow this book. That's okay, right? I don't hear any objection. Let's take the book and go. I don't know how anyone could hear such a quiet voice. <laughs> well, that's the point. That's the point of making stealing right. So, our last book, since we already went ahead and got the book in Aurinion, is in Mantic, which I could have possibly had grabbed much earlier, but I forgot. Never mind. Nobis, you shouldn't be out of bed. Can't afford to lie about all day, right? Oh, never mind, he's still hurt. Yeah, you really are in great shape. Dude, you got your ever light. Where is it you gotta run off to now? I must find the secret text that details the progress of Everlight refinement. And what's so special about that? It, uh, in its raw state as ore, Everlight is all but useless, of course. Oh yeah? That is true. It's a metal, so you wouldn't be able to, to do much with it unless you remove all the impurity first. And Everlight must be refined according to a specific pro uh, process. Our guild had a method written down in a secret manual. It was taken on a journey long ago, and its whereabout remains unknown to this day. And you were going to try and find it? But why? Why would you do? And I mean, why would you put yourself at such risk? It is for the sake of our guild, for Saltsmith. Just what are we going to do about that? Our guild is facing a crisis that's threatened its very survival. Survival? But you're one of the five master guilds. Thanks to the stability the barrier has helped create, weapons are no longer the valued item they once were. Oh, believe me, very soon you're going to sell weapons over weapons. It has been many years since anyone joined our guild, and nothing will slow the aging of our old members. So what does refining Everlight have to do with that? In the art of crafting weapons, no, ores is Everlight its equal. Now that you mention it, I think I remember reading the most famous weapon are made from the very specific uh, metal. For better or worse, the world today is a calamitous place. Perhaps weaponry forge could play a role in restored I mean restoring order to such a world and glory to a to our once great guild. Even though I have acquired the ore without the manual, it is nothing. Even still, you shouldn't overdo it. Does he look like someone who will stay put just because you're telling him? No, of course not, because he already followed that giant monster on his own. He's borderline obsessed. Hmm. Guess I should have seen this coming. Okay, we'll go and find it. You what? Meanwhile, you stay put here, like you're supposed to, and heal your wounds, okay? By the name of Brave Asperia, brightest star in the night sky, we'll take the job. Oh my god, Yuri, you actually said the whole slogan. Whoa, Yuri, did you plan on asking the rest of us? Of course not, because you do the same. 
We are striving to live lives of justice with punishing the unjust, are we not? Yeah. Didn't Rihanna say something about her old man mining that Everlight and making stuff out of it? Alright, oh, the lady you had a crush on hired us to look for her necklace. That's right, I'd forgotten about Miss Rihanna. Maybe she has a way to reach that manual. Then maybe if we ask her about this, we'll get some idea of where to begin looking. Let's go and find out. Later, after I get my book. It seems like it should be around here. Ah, there it is, the legend of the sleeping searing sand. Well, this book belongs to the inn, doesn't it? Yep. Is this something you wanted? Well, it's about this book in the shelf here. Oh, that. That shelf is full of books that guests have accidentally left in the inn when they were staying here. To be honest, we don't have any use of them at all, and guests hardly ever come back for their books. You can feel free to do whatever you like with any of the books in that shelf. Really? You don't mind if we take it? No, go right ahead. In fact, the chest filled up pretty quickly. We've just been throwing away the books whenever it gets full. Alright, we'll take it then. Thank you very much. And with that, we have all the books. Yes, we collected all five. Now I can go and take the test. Going out to look for books all across the world. What a crazy test. Yeah, a real test that has yet to begin. There'll be a writing test that requires using the books as reference material. Just thinking about this makes my head hurt. <laughs> wouldn't you like to give it a try? Just see how to do? Nah, I wouldn't have a chance. I don't care about that. What's his face degree anyways? Yeah, giving something like that to you would be like casting pearls before a swine. Are you calling me a swine? Yeah, well, she did. Pretty much. Well, Nobis, I'm sorry, but I'm going to take the quiz first and then I'm going to check out Rena. So, I'm sorry, but some things have higher priorities. Well, 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 here we are for the quiz. Also, I should probably mention before we start this, um, you only have one try at this, so you better save up beforehand. And I think you are able to read the books beforehand as well, or else I'm not sure how you are supposed to get the answers. So, from the looks on your face, I guess that you've brought back all five books. Yep, every single one. Alright then, then without further ado, shall we get started with the writing test? You may refer to the book that you brought to answer all of the questions that follows. How hard can it be? to ace and test where you can look up all the answers in the book. Then maybe you should take it too, Carol. Who knows, you might surprise yourself and pass. You there. Huh? I'm sorry? Did I hear you say you like to take the test? The, uh, the Mishka doctorate degree is pretty tough. You should sit for the num, said the fish, uh, said the girl, girl well, Baba, what? Yes, it's a test for kids around age 10. It's one of our most popular attractions. <laughs> Whoa, aren't you scared you might fail? A test like this could be tough for a kid like you. Don't insult me. I'm already 12 years old. That's a full two year above the age level of the test. This should be a clinch. If that's what you decided, then both of you get ready to take the test. Hey, don't distract me or anything, okay? This isn't a game, you know? Yeah, I understand. It's not just your pride that's on the line here. Alright, let's go. The test begins. So, for this answer... My god! It's not on my answer sheet! Why is it... Wait. Uh, when was Taste of Destiny released in North America? Well, hello Google! Please help me answer the test. Uh, e for test answers. Where is it? Test. 
There's an answer. But... The thing is, it doesn't really say which answer is the correct one. It just said the third answer, the first answer, the fourth answer. And it's nine years old. I cannot trust that. Give me the answer, damn it. Okay, here it is. September 13th, 1998. Taste of Symphonia. The worst cook in the party is... Rain Sage. Uh, Norma Billy nickname. Tales of Legendia is... Bubbles. Which of the following character does not appear in Tales of the World Radiant Mythology? No idea. Presea Compatria. And for the last one, which of these following events does not take place on Namka Comba Island Tales of Abyss? Uh, turn to stone. There we go. That's the end. Good work. Now I'm totally up. Uh, I I total up your points. Rita, how did it go? Did you think you passed? It was pretty tough even for me, but I think I probably did all right. That sounds like the beat I know. What about you, kid? How did you do? I think I probably passed. I've got a good feeling about it. It sounds like you're pretty confident. Of course. I cheated with Google. <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting. I would like to present the results of your test. Mm -hmm. First, Miss Rita Mario. Out of possibly 800 points, you receive 800 points. You pass out the perfect score. Great! Well, Rita, you're amazing. When it comes down to it, you can get things done, kid. I'm actually quite relieved. Only one other person has ever passed this test before. So then, that makes you the second person in the world to pass it. You guys! I'm s uh, I still haven't got my result yet. Next, we have Carol Kappel. Out of 100 points, you received... What? 82 points. You bet. What? I did it! I did it! Yes, I passed! I passed! How come I, I, I cheated? I was supposed to get 100 points, right? Why isn't everyone else celebrating? Well, the question written for a 10 year old. A 12 year old passing them isn't too impressive. It would have been pretty shameful if you failed. Come on! Now to bestow the honorable title onto the successful test taker. Cool, she got a doctor title. And the outfits. Just look at them. What the? Only those who have earned the honor Mishka doctor degree gets to put on this special costume. But of course. Uh, what's the matter? Aren't you happy? Yes, of course, I'm happy. You're crying! Overwhelmed by emotion! Reduced to tears! Salty! Salty tears of joy! And she's blushing. Stop saying such ridiculous things! There was just something in my eye, that's all. Aw, oh, sure, Rita. Now then, next up we have the title for Carol as well. Really? Little Shrimp Professor. Little Shrimp? I thought I was getting the NUM certification or something. The NUM certification has a very has various levels, and you are the lowest of the levels. If you get a higher score, you will go up in rank. Oh boy, little shrimp professor! A fitting title, if I do say so myself. A good title for a ten-year-old. Oh no, oh no! I don't want it. I can't have a title like that. You can have it back. So much for that. I think it's a perfect good title. Anyways, Miss Rita Mordio, congratulations. Ah, uh, yeah, thanks. Keep up your research as you not soil the honor you have earned today. Leave it to me. This genius mage has yet to begun to shine. My head hurts. 
Are you okay? Should I use my healing arts? Leave him, Estelle. He's just not used to hard questions like that. I think he sprained his brain. But Rita, I'm impressed. You know everything. Well, you never know what might be useful for research. Knowledge is no burden, they say. Estelle's living proof of that. Read enough books and you just learn lots of things without realizing it. Maybe you absorb facts better because you're already reading all the time. That tactic won't work for the old man at all. True. Uh, my head hurts. Here comes the second doofus. Oh, come Rita. After all, he still got the title and I got my trophy. Which is miserable, you only have one chance after all. So do it right the first try and cheat your way through. <laughs> That's the only thing I can give you. Because uh, my guide had the wrong answer, so I actually had to cheat twice. Great, right? It's just perfect. Anyways, let me quickly check. I figured out what I'm supposed to do for something else that I barely skipped. Hey, so, so we meet again. Hunting blades. <laughs> Bye, you three. Wait, I, I wanted to talk to Nan. Carol. Nan. What's about you? Do you have anything to say to this kid? Master, I... We're heading to Dungress. Make sure you're back by tomorrow morning. Oh, they actually let her talk to him? That's nice of them. Chief, thank you. Uh... So, what is it, Carol? Well, there's something I want to talk to you about, Nan. I'm sorry for always being so wishy-washy and just causing you nothing but trouble. But during my travels with Yuri and everyone else, I figured out what's important to me. That's why... Can you just stop bothering me? You only ever think about yourself, Carol. Nan, even if you've learned what's important to you, nothing's ever going to change if you stay as weak as you are. After all, I get strong. I prove myself to you, Nan. I wonder. You've always talked big, but nothing ever comes of it. It, it might be impossible, but I, I want you to believe in me. I'm different, Nan. I, I've changed. Actually, yes, he did. He became stronger. He saved your life, remember? Alright. I teach you a te uh, technique of mine. If you can master it in one night, I will consider how I feel about you in one night. Sounds like we are spending the night. <laughs> yeah, let's leave those turtle and those lovebirds alone. In this technique, you will jump into the air, then use all of your weights to fall downwards, head first. What do you think? You will never be able to master it until you man up and stop being such a coward. I've got to try. Sure, go ahead. Learn the skill. You only have one night after all. Is he able to do it? Oh, he's limping. Oh, what did you do? Sorry for making you wait. Carol, I've never forgive you if you die while I'm gone. Huh? Did he manage? Looks like things didn't go so badly. Heh. <laughs> Rending drop, a cane art. Cool! He learned a new skill. And since we are already here, there's something else I can get for Paddy. Right over here, next to the slide. The obvious pirate. <gasps> Ahoy! Are you really... Hmm? Jim? Is that you? How do you know my name? Oh! <gasps> my god! Wait! Are you... Captain? Is that you? Did he say Captain? I, uh... I can tell you everything here, but I used to be a pirate. And, uh, you're looking awful lot like the Captain. Apparently, for you being a little girl, of course, um, I mean, uh... Are you related or something? I... I be her grandkids. I've heard a fair lot about you, Jim. Shiver me timber. Captain's grandkid? Didn't know she had one. But you're a dead ringer for ya. If you're... If there... Oh my god. If uh, ever there were... Oh my, oh my god, I can't read it. But you're a dead ringer for her. If 
ever there was one. Blimsy Captain's grandkids. What's his story? I... He got your eyes! And her whole face! Who knew she had a grandkid? This takes me back. For good times, they were... Oh... Oh, Captain. Now, don't you be crying. Are you a pirate or not? That me uh, memories just came flooding in. I'm sorry. I was so green. And she's always had my back. Oh, he was little during the time she was her cap uh, his captain. This captain's lady was pretty tough, huh, Patty? Aye. She was the hardiest lass I've ever hoped to meet. Oh, captain! Oh, come on. Quit your crying. Or I'll lash her to the mast. You're selling the Siren Fang's name. Aye, aye. <gasps> Whoa, oof, that felt like yelling, getting yelled at by the captain herself. Come on, don't just start up again. I forgive me, and the memories came flooding back. <laughs> I want to be like the captain. I was always imitating her moves. So you must have been quite strong yourself. Nay, I was weak as a beach whale, but I managed to learn one of them. This one is special, so I don't know what help what will happen. Oh, that looks dangerous. Captain, could you clear a room with it? I could never quite pull it off like she could, though. Oh? Why would you use such a dangerous technique? It's all I have left to remind me of- <gasps> Captain! <laughs> Stop crying! I know, I'll teach it to you. Until you- uh, I mean, until- oh my god. This only right for you to learn. It'll be a grandkid and all, you know? Ah, that'll be grand. Is this a good idea? Cause it is. I'll show ya. This is all this is uh, This all is in here book. Took me ten years to learn. It did. Ten years. Patty, if it takes you that long, I'm not sure if you're going to manage to do it. We don't have the time. Oh, this one. I... You know what? Nah, but I'll show you how quickly I'll be able to learn. And the power of Ifit that, uh, that's been asleep, asleep within. What? Firework! I don't believe my eyes! You truly is Captain's grandkids! Hi, I thought we were slapdish that age ago. <laughs> Aye, but he forgot. <gasps> Captain! Oh, oh god damn it! Ah, critical moment! At least she got also a new skill, right? That was worth the trouble. Okay, let's see. Uh, how's my time? Do I still have time for one more? Nope, I don't. Ah, uh, but there's still something I can talk to you. Oh no, never mind. Poor guy. Come on, cheer up! Maybe someday she is going to tell you that she's actually Alfred herself. And then you can follow her around like it like you used to do. So she up. Please. You don't you don't really need to cry that oh, I better leave him alone. Let's go somewhere else so that I don't get depressed by him. Over to this guy. And you know what? I'm going to make a cut here. I hope you guys had fun in this part with all the crazy stuff that happened. And with Rita's, Rita's gothic outfit. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to keep this outfit. I mean, it looks kind of nice. With the wings and all, and the skull. But, I also kind of like the, the Seeker outfit. It just fits perfectly with the dog ears, you know? And I want everyone to have dog ears. Unless they get bunny ears, and, it, and that fits better. But for now, Doc Ilias it is. Anyways, see you in the next part. Bye.